then you still gotta get your brain working. As a soldier, there's obviously a simple like combat effectiveness that, that translates into something like this PT session that we did this morning. Uh, uh, so this morning, this PT session showed us that getting our heart rate up and then getting it back down and taking part in a cognitive exercise uh, is challenging, and, but it does translate into the actual combat realm where, say, you're moving under fire. You know, you're in, a, you're in a combat situation and you have to be able to make a decision once you stop, but you also have to think on the go. We took a group of soldiers and we ran them through a cycle of physical and training and endurance and pushed their bodies and then had them now move over and push their minds. They accomplish a couple different tasks, a variety of things. Some of them simple soldier tasks and drills like the section I ran with the at taking part in M4. And, and some of them not so simple, some of them with wordplay, just to push their minds when their body's fatigued. Now, the physical exercises we had to do were a combination of aerobic and anaerobic exercises. Uh, they compiled strength training with heavy weights, light weights, as well as aerobic exercises such as the assault bike. So the overall intent is to teach soldiers that they may be good at a task and they may be good at physical exercise, but are they good at combining the two? So when you're tired, your brain's not working as hot as it should be. So it's a good way for them to learn how to control what they're feeling and focus on a task where they have to use their brain. And just a good example of uh, what they do out in the field or downrange. Get them to realize that sometimes when you're downrange and things are going and it's getting hot and heavy and things are going, you need to be able to keep a clear mind and work on know where you need to keep your, your brain pushing. And that way, if your body is fatigued, you can still rely on your mind. So down rain, they might be under a lot of stress, their heart rate's up, maybe not from necessarily physical activity, but from just the environment. So it can teach them how to zone in, control themselves a little bit, and practice it. Testing our mental agility the way we were, it's a, it was unconventional, but it's translatable because you have to be able to think outside the box in a real situation.